Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel. Uh, family, friends, welcome to all those who are new to my channel for the very first time. Now, you may have joined you know, my channel today to find out the secret of the best tasting coffee ever in the world, in my humble opinion. Now, where did that come from? That was passed on to be my, by my paternal grandmother, uh, Miss Imogene Virtue from Christiana in Jamaica. Now, those who know Jamaica, have been to Jamaica, if you look it up, or if you don't, just look it up, it's right smack in the middle, place, right, parish of Manchester, up in the mountains. Ideal climate for growing coffee, hot in the day and cool at night. Uh, if you're there in January and February and you go out in a t-shirt at night time, you'll <laughs> feel rather chill, to put it mildly. Now, what is the secret, you say? Now, how do you make the best tasting coffee? Well, I've got some coffee here. Make sure that water is boiled. Make sure the water is boiled. And my normal brand is Starbucks. Right, I normally have the house brand. This is the brand that I like. But it could be any brand of coffee, whichever you like. What this secret ingredient does is it enhances the flavour of coffee. No matter how you make it. Now I particularly make it with a cafeteria. Right? Uh, it's already there. Uh, the volume that I need for one cup, uh, co coffee boiled, and uh, I don't take milk because I'm lactose intolerant, but the uh, sugar, demerara sugar by the way, and creamer, which is coffee mate, has already been added. So all I have to do now is just pour the hot water, boiling hot water into the cafeteria, enough. Set the plunger. Give it about five to ten seconds for it to brew a little bit more, a little bit stronger. I like my coffee semi-strong, not too strong, but still strong enough. Okay. Now that's the coffee in itself. Now what is the secret ingredient? The secret ingredient is salt. Okay, I use sea salt, but you can use table salt as well. Uh, yeah. Just a few drops, not a great deal. Just a, let's say half a pinch as they say. Right. As you can see, that should be enough. A little bit, as a matter of fact, that may be a little bit over too much, but okay. Okay. Now, you can always add or delete it by trial and error, right? But I said don't, you know, start off with a little, right? You may find, you know, and, right, just a small pinch, just a pinch. Not too much, you don't want to old, old power it with salt. You don't want to be drinking salt water. But what that does, it enhances the flavour of the coffee. Now, give that a nice stir, I say, cheers. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to make the best coffee in the world, tasting coffee. Try it yourself. And if you like that method, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and share. And who knows, I may pass on some more secrets that are passed on to me by other members of my family and friends along the way. Now, also, what you know. I'd like you to invite you to like and share my Facebook page. My Facebook page is 
called Coffee Lovers. Now on there, right, and to launch it, okay, I will be giving away three, three that's three, $25 Starbucks vouchers, e-vouchers. So, so to, to be uh, eligible for your chance of winning one of those $25 vouchers is to like, right, share, and tag a friend to my page. Right, if you go to Facebook and you look up Coffee Lovers, okay, that is my page, is right. If you like, share, and tag a friend, and if you're one of the first 1,000 people to do this, you have a chance of winning a $25 e-voucher. Now, Thank you for joining me once again and don't remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye.